So what's up guys, I am Zenogrid and welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can boost your performance and increase your FPS in Valorant with any low-end PC. Now Valorant used to be this game that you could play in almost any low-end PC without any kind of problems. But with updates, the game has changed a lot and the game actually has more requirements now. But however, in this video, I am going to show you how you can play it in almost any low-end PC. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. And if this video helps then please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as it will mean a lot to me. So let's begin. So first of all you want to make sure that you are on the latest update of Windows 10 if you are using Windows 10. The latest update of Windows 10 is actually doing a really good job at optimizing for gaming. So you want to make sure that you are using the updated Windows 10. So after that what you want to do is clear all the junk files. Now it's actually common and you guys should be used to it by now but I think it's really useful. So what you want to do is press Windows plus R at the same time and then you will get this run option so type temp here temp and here you will see some files as you can see my temporary files are quite clear so I don't have much files here but you might see a lot of files here so just control plus a then shift plus delete and skip the ones that you can't then do it again but instead this time type percent temp percent And as you can see, I have a lot of temporary junk files here, so let's clear them all. And skip the ones that you can't. Then delete all the prefetch files. So type prefetch here, then hit OK. Then delete everything that you can see here. Just Ctrl plus A, then Shift delete. And skip the ones that you can't. Then what you want to do is make sure that you are using all the updated drivers for your PC. For that I recommend a software called Driver Booster. Now Driver Booster is a software that scans your PC and then downloads and installs all the necessary drivers for free. So I think it's a really useful software that you should use. And also while on the topic of drivers, you might want to use a Game Booster. The Game Booster that I recommend personally is Razer Cortex. Now it's totally free and you don't need a Razer accessory to use it. I'll link it down in the description box below. So what you want to do is just download and install it. And then you might have to open an account but that's simple. So after installing everything, you want to make sure that you have Valorant on my library. Now this software works automatically if you keep it running in the background. So you don't have to worry about anything. So after that, what you want to do is go to game mode of your Windows settings. So go to Windows settings, then type game mode here. So as you can see, we're in the game mode option. Make sure to turn it on and then go to graphic settings. Now from here, select Valorant. Now you might not see Valorant here. So press browse and then find the Valorant folder. Now it should be in C drive if you didn't change the location but you might have to find it yourself because I don't know where you installed the game in your PC. So after finding Valorant, select this Valorant.exe folder, I mean exe file and as you can see I already have it added but anyway this is the file that you're looking for so after that press options and then make sure that it's on high performance then save it. Now let's change some in-game settings. So for that let's log into Valorant. So as you can see we are in Valorant. So let's go to our in-game settings. So go to video option and as you can see this is all the settings that I am using. So first of all you want to make sure that your display mode is full screen obviously. Now from the resolution option you want to select 720p or 900p. So basically 1600 into 900 or 1280 into 720. Now if you are using a low end PC I think 720p would be good enough but if your PC is still lagging then you might have to use 800 into 600 resolution. Now as you can see there is no option for that here. So I'm going to show you how you can use that resolution in, in the game. So anyway after that select your aspect ratio method to set it to the letter box or you can set it to fill it depends on your monitor what kind of monitor you are using and then copy all the settings that you can see here. So basically turn off everything and on the Nvidia reflex low latency set it to on plus boost. Now you might not see this option if you don't have an Nvidia GPU. So that's totally fine. Then go to graphics quality and copy everything that you can see here. Basically it's mostly all the lowest graphics settings without the clarity option. Now I think improved clarity actually works good because we're actually scaling our resolution lower. So that's why I think this, I mean you should have this on. But if you are still lagging, you might want to turn this off again. And then from the stats, you might want to hide everything because all of them will what they will do is just take some CPU space for you I mean basically just use your CPU for no reason so I don't think that's worth it but if you want to monitor something specifically you might have to turn that on 
So that's up to you, but I don't recommend turning all of them on. So after that, close your settings, then press Alter, Control, Delete to open Task Manager. Now, after opening Task Manager, you might see Valorant here. If you don't see Valorant here, you might have to restart your game. So then right click on Valorant, then expand it. Then right click on Valorant again, then go to Details. So as you can see, we have Valorant here, then right click on it. Now, go to Set Affinity first and make sure that all of the boxes here are ticked. This is basically all the cores your CPU has and make sure that the game is using all of your CPU cores. And also, as Valorant is a CPU intensive game, I recommend setting the priority to high or above normal. Now, some people told me that real time can actually crash the game, so just set it to high or above normal. So let's set it to high. So we're gonna change the priority. And as you can see, we are on high priority mode. But anyway, that's all the in-game settings that you have to change. Now from here, we're gonna change some settings in the notepad. So let's close the game, then press Windows plus R again, but this time type app data or data, however you pronounce it, type that, then hit OK, then go to local, then find Valorant here, it should be easy to find, then go to saved, then config, then you'll find this random number here. Now if for some reason you might have like multiple of this, so you might have to search it for yourself, which is the right one, but it's basically this random number. So go there, then go to Windows. Then from here, you'll find a file called gameusersettings.ini. So right click on it, I'm sorry, I mean double click on it. Then as you can see, we have all the game settings here. So from here, set the sd.resolution quality to 80%. Now this will, what this will do is basically run at 80% of the resolution we're using. Or you can set it to 60% if you're still lagging and have a really low end PC. Now, as I said here that you might want to use 800 or 600 resolution if you really have a low end PC and it's just basically lagging in every way. So what you can do is set the resolution size X to 800 and set the resolution size Y to 600. And then do it here again, 800 and 600. Now, don't do this if you don't have a low-end PC. I mean, what, what I basically mean is that if your game is actually running well or if you're getting at least 30 FPS in 720p, this is actually not necessary. So basically, this 800 into 600 is not necessary. But if you're still lagging after that, then do this. So then save this and then close this. And now if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, this part is for you. Go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Go to Manage 3D Settings, then go to Program Settings, then find Valorant here. Now from Valorant, find the first option, which would be Low Latency Mode and set it to On. Then go to OpenGL Rendering GPU and set it to the highest GPU that you have. As you can see, I have a 1050 Ti, but if you're using laptop, you might have multiple GPU that work at the same time. So select the higher, I mean stronger one. Then from the power management mode, set it to prefer maximum performance and then go to this texture filtering quality and set it to high performance or performance. I'm going to set performance, but you can use high performance here and trilinear optimization and turn it on. And basically after that, just hit apply. And that will be it. So basically this is all you have to do, what you can do to improve your performance in Valorant. I hope this video helps and this was it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.